Swedish version is Tekabo, Squeezy's menu item is Bag Toshi Shadow Saluba Rubu by Timmy's Tagat. Like, the link to the video will be the description below. Go and check them out. So, let's get to this section in 3, 2, 1. So guys, Taco Bell brought back the Toasted Cheddar Chalupa. I got all four flavors. We have seasoned beef, black bean, chicken, and steak. I'm gonna taste test all of them, give you my honest opinion, rate them each from one to 10, and tell you which one is the best, at least in my opinion. The Toasted Cheddar Chalupa did come out about two and a half years ago, um, and I did taste test it, but I was not a professional. <laughs> like, I'm a professional now, guys, honestly, because back then I wasn't taking my fast food taste test that seriously. And now my like main thing is like new fast food taste test. So I'm taste testing it again. Also, I don't even remember how it tasted, honestly. Like, it has been a long time. I've tried so much food between then and now. <laughs> it's all a blur of sodium. So if you haven't heard of the toasted cheddar chalupa, basically, it's like a chalupa shell, but on the outside of it, it has like melted toasted cheddar, just like crusted on. I don't remember how it tasted, but I remember it being greasy, which is not always a bad thing. That could just mean more flavor sometimes, but we'll see what I think today. So the description says, the toasted cheddar chalupa features a chalupa shell with six month aged cheddar. So this cheese was born in 2021? <laughs> Toasted on the outside, all loaded up with your choice of chicken, steak, or seasoned beef, plus reduced fat sour cream, tomatoes, lettuce, and cheddar cheese on the inside. And then there's a black bean version for the vegetarians out there, which is great. I'm trying that too. And they were each $4.19. Let's unbox it. Uno. Dos, tres, cuatro. Yes, I knew that because I am half Cuban, in case you didn't know that. I'm not trying to flex, but I knew that. Anyways, mm. um, they do not write down which is which, which is totally fine. Not a big deal. I will just find out as I open them. By the way, guys, subscribe to my channel, Timmy's Takeout, for more fast food reviews and full menu taste tests. These came out a couple days ago, so I'm a tiny bit late, but typically I taste test food on the day of, okay? I keep you up to date, so subscribe. Um, it's a great time here. We're all friends. Honestly, I am very grateful to say that my comment section is typically very positive. Like you guys are just so nice to me. Well, okay, I know that a video is doing very well when I'm getting yeah. hate comments, because that means mm -hmm. that it's reaching new people because you guys, my wonderful subscribers, are just the nicest people ever. So when I get that hate comment, it's bittersweet. I'm like, oh, that was mean, but <laughs> you gave me a view and you're new here. Love that for me. Anyways, yep. let's open up these Chalupa. So this one is, oh wow. It's not as greasy as I remember. Okay. Honestly, that looks pretty good. Wow. It looks so crusted. It is greasy, but it's not like overly greasy. This is the chicken. You can see that little piece of chicken popping out of there. Okay. And then we have The black bean one, you can see. <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness. That is explosive. Wow. Okay, looks great. And then we have the seasoned beef. You guys know seasoned beef is my like preferred meat at um, Taco Bell. That's how it looks. It's just so iconic. It has the most flavor out of any meat from any fast food place ever, I think. A lot of people hate it though. They say it's dog food. Those people are out of touch with the fast food reality, okay? And this is steak. You guys know I don't love talk about steak, but I'm trying all the options, okay? That's only fair. So yay! I'm gonna get my thumbnail and then we shall start taste testing everything. Honestly, they smell like overly fried. Just like almost too strong. It's a lot. A lot to handle. So 
crusty and greasy. We love this for me. Okay, got it. Let's start feasting. First up, I'm gonna try the seasoned beef because that one is like the main one, of course, you know? Let's just take a quick look inside. Okay, look at all that. Pretty good portion. Let's try it. <laughs> The seasoned beef is great as always, but it's so hard to explain. Guys, if I'm eating a Taco Bell seasoned beef item and I'm not being destroyed, that's not a good sign. Huh. It's not bad, okay? It's not bad. Don't panic. Did I drop something? Hmm. So, it doesn't look greasy, but it tastes really greasy. Okay. The seasoned meat, all the fillings taste like fantastic Taco Bell. Yeah. The chalupa shell is very interesting because I adore the texture. The texture on the outside is super crunchy, but not like in like a thick, like rocky way. It's like a light crunchy deliciousness. And then the inner part is kind of doughy. So it's such a nice contrast. Like the textures work so well. Adore the texture. But... The flavor of the shell is an issue. It, I don't really taste the cheese whatsoever. Like it's six months old cheese. Congratulations, I don't taste the cheese, okay? But I can taste the grease and there's such a strong greasy flavor that it almost tastes bitter, like a bitter aftertaste. It's hard to explain, I have never, experience that with the Taco Bell item. There's a bitterness and it's throwing me off. Now, it's still not a bad item. Like I'm not disgusted because it's still Taco Bell, my favorite fast food. Like I'm always gonna love all of their items. So it's still at least like a five, of course. But um, the bitterness and the non-cheesy flavor threw me off. I hope it was just that one and the other ones taste better. But for that first season beef one, I'm gonna have to give it a five, a five. If it didn't have the bitterness and if it tasted more of like a sharp, cheesy, ancient, old cheese flavor, it would be better. So next up, let's try the chicken. Let's do the chicken. There's a napkin on this, sorry guys. There it is. Let's try it. So far, this is kind of disappointing. <laughs> I 
And you know, I'm gonna talk about Stan. I'm uh, Stan. Hmm. So, for some reason, the chicken feels like better quality. I don't know if Taco Bell changed their chicken, but it just, like the texture feels a bit more real. Very interesting. Yep. But, it's a very plain flavor. Like the chicken itself, it just tastes like plain chicken, right? And I feel like with the seasoned beef one, at least there was that delicious beef to kind of fight against the um, bitter shell flavor. But with this chicken one, there's, there is nothing fighting against the bitter shell flavor. So all that I taste is just the bitter shell. And like I said, it's not horrible. I'm not disgusted. I'm still eating it. Um, it's just not great. And it's not a flavor that I'm used to from Taco Bell. Like, I didn't know it was in their flavor profile, in their flavor dictionary. I didn't know that. And the chicken just helps it shine more. So, oh, I'm gonna have to give the chicken one a 3.5. I would not get this item again. Uh, with the beef, I don't think I would either, but at least that was like more, more um, enjoyable. And I finished that whole chalupa. Anyways. Next up, let's try the steak and then the bean one. So, like I said, steak is not my favorite meat from the from Taco Bell, but it might taste goodness. Who knows? You yeah, never know. That bitterness, like what is that? Is it the old, okay. You know what? It might be fried in like old oil, honestly. Talk about opened about an hour ago. So maybe it's last night's oil. I'm not saying that they used it. I'm just saying that's just what it tastes like, okay? Like I said, love the texture so much. It's so iconic, but the that oil flavor is so strong. So the steak actually, did I just spit? Sorry guys. The steak actually goes with the shell a little bit better than the chicken. So even though I don't like I'm talking about steak, it has a little bit more flavor than the chicken, I think. Like a yep. tiny bit more. So I guess it shines a bit more. Hmm. Something about the texture too, it's a bit more um, chewy, goes very well with this crunchy, doughy texture. So I think I'm gonna have to give the steak a four, a four. Okay, last but not least, we have the black bean one, the vegetarian queen, still dripping. <laughs> Goodness, someone get a diaper. Let's try it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, this one's good. Okay. I'm kind of gagging. I'm kind of shook up. The beans go so well with this doughy, crunchy shell. <laughs> okay. Even if it has the oily flavor, the yeah. beans come in with the savor. <laughs> I love rhyming. No, for real, the doughiness 
Um, and the crunchiness just tastes amazing with the beans. Um, for some reason, like the beans kind of like soak into it and it just works. Like, I don't know, I don't know why. I'm more of a beef person than a bean person. And for some reason, this duo works even better than the seasoned meat. Maybe it's the soupiness. It's soaking into the shell. Could be, yeah. Also, if you have a nice salty flavor, something is just working better. Even with that oily, bitter flavor. It kind of drowns it out. I'm gonna give the black bean one a six out of 10. This is the best one, I think. And then the seasoned beef, and then the steak, and then the chicken. So that is my ranking, guys. Now, listen, you might love this toasted cheddar chalupa. Mine might not taste that good because they used old oil, possibly. That could be the reason, and they might be amazing. But either way, I didn't fully enjoy these because of that bitter flavor. So ah, let me know in the comments below, do you plan on trying these toasted um, cheddar chalupas? And if you do, what are your thoughts? And if you don't live near Taco Bell, which, which kind looks, ooh, I'm keep burping. Which kind looks the best to you? Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Ooh. Wow, that was, that was on Tech Boss, Squeezy is me, new, uh, damn, it's back, Tossy Setter, Salupa, Review by Timmy's, uh, Tech Ed. The link to the video will be the description below. Go and check them out. And drop a like if you like. And comment down below if you want to see more reaction like this one. And subscribe if you want to. And click the button to be notified when the blog. In the mud. Bye.